Welcome back inside the Peterborough Memorial Center. That's your starting goaltender for the Six Nations Chiefs tonight. They're going to go with Warren Hill. They got a great one-two punch, as do the Peterborough Lakers. Doug Jamison will be the backup tonight for Six Nations as Warren Hill gets down to the north end and down to the south end, Drew Hutchison. And the ironic part about this matchup is that they are goalie mates, as you can tell maybe by the gear that they have in the National Lacrosse League in Halifax with the Thunderbirds. So a head-to-head -head matchup between a couple birds tonight, Scotty. And Sundown over to the far side. Here's a chance off the bar. Lyle Thompson just missed. And a full 30 as a result here for the Chiefs as they make their way in. Here's a chance shot. They score. They open the scoring. Ben McIntosh, it's 1-0 Six Nations. Well, and that was one of the acquisitions that the Chiefs grabbed going into this season. Ben McIntosh coming from the Western Lacrosse Association, and he has been a great addition. And you can see his moves right there, doing it all himself. Nice little juke at the top, drops the shoulder. That's enough for the defender to bite. And then another nice move to avoid the crease. And Chiefs are on the board in the opening minute. Quiets the crowd a little bit. Some of them just getting into their seats now as the Lakers have spotted the Chiefs a 1-0 lead here, and they win this draw and will control it off the faceoff. LeClaire will play it. He comes in, looks, shoots, scores! Two shots, two goals, and just like that, 14 seconds after they open the scoring, they've made it 2-0. Yeah, it didn't take long at all. A clean faceoff win for the Chiefs. And then you see a nice little swim move to come out of the pile from LeClaire. And he gets it done, takes one look behind him just to see how close Armstrong was, and he knows he was gone. All the way down to the Peterborough zone. Jackson off the bench. He's out there. Brendan Bomberry coming out as well. McIntosh, Fennell, and here's Sundown with it. He quickly gets it over to the far side. McIntosh backhand pass, comes across a shot and a save by Hutchison. No, goes in, trickles in, and it's 3-0 here for the Chiefs. Larson Sundown getting the goal. Looked like he had nothing to shoot at at all. He's even surprised. You can see by the smile on his face. And it develops on the far side. Nice little drop backhander. It was intended for the man in the middle. It ends up going all the way over the crowd to the far side where Sundown just happens to be standing there. And he manages to squeak it in and find an opening somehow in that near side. Yeah, big uh, big week for the guys for sure. Here is uh, Holden Katoni. Katoni, Courier backhand pass to the crease for Hogarth. Hogarth, Lakers trailing 3-0 on the power play shot. And does it trickle in that way? Yes, it does. The Lakers are on the board. Took a while for the referee Williams to signal it because it took a while for the ball to get in, and the Lakers close the gap on the power play. And that is exactly what Peterborough needed, it was that man advantage, a little bit of an extra space for them to work with. Get some flow of this game going, and you can see right there, barely trickles in. Brad Cree almost had it at the line, and it just went off the top of his stick and across. Couple saves, here's a shot over the top, holding Katoni and Hill coming up big here for the Chiefs. Hill all the way up to Flora, what a pass for Stotts. Nice pass across, shot, they score! What a beauty, started by goaltender Warren Hill. And the Chiefs take a 4-1 lead. Well, the Chiefs answer right back to the Lakers' power play goal. And again, great passing from Six Nations. And this time, starting in the crease with Warren Hill. You could see his eyes. He was looking up floor that entire time, waiting for that man to come off the bench. And then Stotts just relays it across the floor. Ogilvy. He moves it in. He'll get it to Turner Evans eventually. And then coming out of the corner, McLaughlin. Out in front. Here's a nice little play. They score. The Peterborough Lakers get a big one. Fans are happy. Take Katoni's happy. He's on the board as we get another look. Starting on the far side. And then you can see Take Katoni through the middle. Sets a pick. Takes two defenders through the middle. And then comes over and makes that nice stretch 
to get that ball into the far side. Good effort by Turner Evans to get that play going. Solid finish from Tay Catoni, and the lead is cut in half now. It's 4-2, just past the halfway mark of this first period. In terms of just forcing it a little bit, Scott, I would say a little bit. There has times. been, yeah, a couple opportunities where they could have slowed it down. Shot and a goal by Stotts. As he beats Kells, he makes it 5-2, Six Nations. A great effort by Stotts. He's got two guys draped on him, and he manages to spin free, get a shot off, and then he immediately turns to the fans and makes sure to lock eyes with a couple of the Lakers faithful. This has been going on since junior lacrosse, the battle with Austin Stotts and these Peterborough fans. And it tends to fire him up. Still lots of time on the shot clock as it's going to be Bomberry with a blast, scores! Big shot from the outside and it's 6-2 Chiefs. Well, a heavy shot, but a nice bounce as well. Went off the iron, off Kell's back, and then over the line. So a nice bounce for the Chiefs as you see Bomberry step in, the nice classic overhand shot, and you'll see a better look at it here. Hits Barr, hits Kells. Goes back across the line. Now it's Bomberry. Bomberry. Thompson. Thompson over to the far side for Fennell. Fennell fighting off a check. Shoot scores. Eric Fennell makes it 7 2, 6 Nations. They're up by five. And that silences the crowd and fires up this Chiefs team. When you see five guys smiling going to the bench, that usually spells trouble. The Chiefs right now, they're relaxed, they're comfortable, they're confident, and they are certainly in the driver's seat, up by five now with 5.21 left to go in the second period. Heavy shot by Eric Fennell. Goes over the shoulder of Kells. Slow things down and wait it out a little bit, and that's exactly what the Chiefs are doing. Still lots of power play time left. Tate Cotone. Has it again, Matisse fakes, hangs on, shoots, scores! A short-handed goal, the Lakers needed that one. It's 7-3. That's the Lakers' first goal since the 15-58 mark of that first period, so it's been quite a stretch. Their first goal of this second period after two Chiefs unanswered goals. And this one's a short-handed marker. And Lakers get the ball back. McLaughlin with a pretty heavy pick on Bell. And here's a chance. Catoni with a couple great moves. He scores. Highlight real goal. Tate Catoni, what a beauty. Put that one on the Insta Reels. It's 7-4 here in Peterborough. Well, you just said, Pete, that Holden Catoni was due and the very next opportunity, Tate Catoni, his younger brother, gets things going. So it wasn't Holden, but it was a Catoni. And now there's gonna be an unsportsmanlike penalty right on the tail end of that. So Tyson Bell well, is in the penalty box. Lakers will retain possession yeah. and go on the offense. Bell a little upset. In his defense, he, he did receive a pretty heavy sort of from behind pick that probably should have been called maybe, but it wasn't, and it ended up eventually a Lakers goal. As is played here by Hogarth. Hogarth out in front, shoot, scores! Thomas Hogarth, the popcorn bandit strikes here in the third. It's a 7-5 lacrosse game. I'll talk about a guy who is due. Tyson Bell had been doing such a good job at keeping Hogarth at bay, and then you see this time, Hogarth able to beat him. Tyson Bell is forced to drop his stick. He was gonna get a called for a holding penalty had he held on any longer, so he's forced to drop the stick. Hogarth takes full advantage, and he buries it in tight. That's a big goal. And now moves it, McIntosh. Cross, what a play, they score, what a dandy. Jackson 
was able to stay out of the crease, took the beautiful feed, and it's 8-5. Like, what is the crease rule in this league anymore? I think that's what Landon Kells is even asking. It used to be different from the NLL. It was once your feet broke that plane. But now it looks like you can dive right through the crease, just like the NLL. And in the last few games, no, he stayed right out. That was an unbelievable goal by Jackson. Left in this one, 14.06 remaining. McLaughlin with it, McLaughlin. Eventually to Courier. Courier shooting scores. <laughs> JC 27, the Lakers again back to within two. Josh Courier picking up his first goal of the series. And it's a big one, bringing the Lakers within two. You see Courier on the run, nobody's open, and he's almost on the other side of the floor at this time. He's running out of angles to shoot at, and right when he gets to the top in that middle, he's able to see a split through those two defenders and rips the shot right between them. Thompson, he fires one on the run. The Lakers now up the floor. Here they come, holding Katoni. Katoni looks, shoots, hits the post. Oh, what a quick shot by Katoni, missed by an inch. On a breakaway, Stott fakes, shoots, scores. Austin starts. it's 9-6, six, six Nations. And not many goalies are gonna stop Austin Stotts from that in tight, and then he salutes the crowd after. That brings out the Boo Birds. And it gives the Chiefs a nice three goal cushion with under five minutes left to go. And you can just see the pass down to Stotts who is just waiting for it. Makes a couple moves with his feet. Goes over, says hello to the, some fans in the restaurant. And then salutes the fans on the west side as well. Cole will start to play here for the Chiefs. And it comes it's over here to Stotts. Over the far side, shot, and they score. Trickles in past Kells. And the Chiefs are in double digits. It's 10 to six for the visitors with only 3.44 to go. I think that's the dagger right there. Thompson with the big smile. 10-6, under four minutes left to go. Things getting started with Stotts at the top and then Thompson with the finish. And it's another trickler. We've seen Warren Hill make saves like that and then the ball bounces back towards him. He's getting the hops. While the Lakers, they're getting the opposite. They've had three goals like that where they've got a piece of it, but it just bounces the other way. Start to file out in front of us here at the Memorial Center. And they quiet Peterborough Memorial Center. Shot goes into the empty net. Just a little extra for the Chiefs. We'll see who gets credit for that one, whether Stott's got a piece of it. I think he did as he finishes off a, a pretty good night here at the Memorial Center with just under 17 seconds to go in regulation and many of the 2,904 fans will head to the exits a little disappointed here tonight. It had the makings to be one heck of a finish. Things got close, but just like uh, Tuesday night, just as the Lakers were making it uh, interesting, the Chiefs would respond, take back a three goal lead and they would never look back, which was the case here tonight. And the Six Nations Chiefs are halfway to a MSL championship with a victory here tonight, make it 11-6 the final, and they lead this series two games to none, but the Lakers not going down without a fight here. Chad Tutton tossing him here for the Peterborough Lakers, going at it. I believe with LeClaire, nope. That is Biles, Biles and Tutton. A couple tough customers right in front of the Lakers bench. And they're just gonna go, we're good. Won't be anything more after that. A little respect there. Ladies and gentlemen, the century 21 Lakers. Uh, Williams jumps in there, the referee. That's it. It is over. The Chiefs take that two nothing series lead heading into game number three. We'll be back with your post-game show coming up next. You're watching MSL Playoff Lacrosse on your TV.